Let's have a moment of silence for all the subscribers that I lost last week. Yeah, that's enough time. Let's do it. 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 Hi everyone, I'm Robert Vera and this is on the Cheap Tip. Now last week's video proved to be a little controversial. <laughs> so much that people decided that they were going to unsubscribe. Now I didn't think that this video was offensive at all. I just thought it was a funny way of describing safe sex. And you should probably check out that video for yourself and judge for yourself. So I will leave a link right here and I will leave a link down in the description box and you can tell me whether you thought it was offensive. Now, because I'm not in the business of pissing people off, I've decided that I'm going to do today's video without acting crazy. So I'm not going to act crazy at all. I'm just going to act like my normal self. So today's video is going to be how to make a natural sunspot remover. And that's it. So let's get started. So the first ingredient that you're going to get is an organic onion, like this one, and preferably a red organic onion. Now onions contain lots of natural acids which are going to help exfoliate the skin and lighten your sunspot. So what you're going to do is cut out about a tablespoon of your onion and you can place it into a bowl and mash it down with a spoon or you could put it into a blender until you get a tablespoon of juice and some of the pulp will be in there as well and then you're just going to place it into a mixing bowl. The next ingredient that you're going to get is apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar is very acidic so that's also going to help lighten the sunspot as well as exfoliate the skin and it's also going to act as an antibacterial which is going to help clear any acne as well as blackheads. It's known to get rid of blackheads. And what you're going to do is take about a half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and put it into your mixture. Then you're going to mix it up very, very well. So once you're done mixing up your mixture, you're going to take a cotton ball, dab it into your solution, and apply it to wherever you have sunspots. Now I do want to warn you, you should test spot this on any sensitive areas like your face because some sensitive skins have a different reaction to it. And you're going to leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes. So after 5 to 10 minutes, you want to wash off your solution. And if you notice that it leaves a little bit of an odor behind, that's okay. Just get a little lemon slice and put it onto wherever you have that odor, and it should take care of that. And we also know from my lemonade scrub that lemons are really great for lightening the skin, as well as sunspots, freckles, and acne. So if you'd like to take a look at that tip, go to this link right here or in the description box, and you can check it out. Now, if you'd like to keep the solution fresh for a little while, that's cool. You can just put it into the refrigerator in a little Tupperware container and it should be fresh um, for about a week. But I highly recommend that you make a fresh batch for every use because the stronger it is, the better it is. <laughs> my mustache is falling off. <laughs> so guys, I kept my promise. I didn't act crazy at all in this video. Perhaps crazy things happened around me, which is not my fault. I just want to give a great big shout out to all of my subscribers that have been there for me from the beginning, and also to all of my new subscribers. You guys fucking rock. And be sure that there will be more crazy antics for me, as well as great tips to entertain you while you are learning. And if you don't like that, well, I guess you could just unsubscribe. And that's my whole tip, so make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next Monday for another great tip. Bye, guys!